So uh, this is your realtor from start to finish. Uh, your one-stop shop guy. Uh, so this particular video I'm doing right now, um, I'm going on my annual uh, brother's trip. Um, we're going to Cuba, Havana. And um, I'm here at the DFW airport flying with American Airlines. So I feel like, you know, I wanted to definitely, uh, definitely give you guys the inside, you know, and traveling to Cuba. I have a lot of, it's, you know, it's crazy that I do have a lot of people who have, who, you know, that, that know I was going. And I'm like, you can go? You can go? So, yes, you can go. And there's things and the things that you must do to prepare to go. And so, just to give you my experience at the airport, when I was going through, when I was trying to, you know, uh, check in or whatever, you know how you go to the kiosk and you put your information in, and you know, normally, you know, you get you get your uh, you get the you know if you check in the bag, uh, you get your your ticket, your tag for you know checking your bag, and get your ticket and you know go put your bag up. I mean, go put your bag so you can get it on the airplane. Well. Um, uh, they knew I was coming, uh, but uh, there's more information they needed to put in. So, whenever you are going to Cuba, you must have the address prepared and ready uh, to, sh to to give to them to show them where you're going. So that's a, that's one big difference. So if you don't have a, if you don't know the actual address, make sure you have it available. If it's an Airbnb, hotel, whatever have that information available to give to them uh, so that they can uh, put it in the system and you can get your ticket or whatever. So that was like, oh, I, I got that. So cool, here it is, put it in, you know, we, we good to go. Um, so yeah, this is the first phase. Um, made it to that, that was easy. Make sure you keep your, your tablets or your laptops outside your bag or it will get, we'll get pulled. But other than that, but until then, um, I'm gonna, my, my first stop is Miami. So when I get to Miami, if there's anything new there, I will get, definitely let you guys know. And then from there, I wanna let y'all know, you guys know, once I make it to Customs at Cuba. So um, this is your realtor giving you the inside. I'm going to Cuba. <laughs> my, my first Cuban sandwich. Mm. Delish. I'm gonna tear, tear this up. So I made it to Miami, um, safe, sound and safe. Um, we're about to take off here shortly and uh, I'll reach y'all on the airplane, let you know how I got in uh, to go to Cuba. See you soon. Okay, so when you're at the gate to get ready to board, before you board, you have to see the front desk and go to over here by, it says, uh, Cuba ready, you gotta get Cuba ready. So the way to get Cuba ready is you gotta show your visa and your, your passport and then you're Cuba ready by the stamp. You see the stamp? You see the stamp? Stamp. I'm Cuba ready. We on our way. I see you in Cuba. Hey. Oh, one more thing. You gotta fill out your, uh, your customs form. You gotta fill out your customs form. I know that was pretty fast what I was showing you. Customs form. Your customs form. Fill it out before you get off the plane. Don't forget. So later, I'm in Cuba. I'm in Cuba, y'all. Um, I don't know if it's okay to record, so I'm not gonna raise my camera high um, to show y'all what it looks like in here, but uh, I made it. Um, it was real simple to get through customs. It was a, Line was short. It was real simple getting in here. Now all I'm waiting for is my bag. And this is the biggest moment, is getting my bag. Those that know my story from last guy trip in Abu Dhabi, I couldn't take my bag. A week worth of clothes, God, without a very humbling experience. So uh, we waiting on this bag, man. This, we waiting on this bag. Hold on. Please hold on. Stay tuned. Let's see if this bag made it for this trip. So I made it. I made it to Cuba, y'all. I made it to Cuba. Um, and I have 
my luggage with me. Now, do we have a slight issue, which I will check once I make it to my destination. Uh, I have a cover that was on my luggage. A cover, a luggage, a luggage protector cover that didn't make it. Okay, so or at least we don't know if it made it or not. We gotta check the luggage. I ain't have time to pull everything out right now and check and see if it's in there. Okay, but we will find out once we get to our Airbnb. Stay tuned. Town Havana. Potatoes with cheese, fish fries. What's that? Shrimp? Fried shrimp. This seasoned vegetables, rice with corn. Very good. Very good. So I'm just giving you little snippets of everything I'm doing so you can be familiar. So when you come to Cuba from Dallas or wherever in the United States, you know you're coming to a good place. Ain't nothing like coming to a good place for good food. Catch you later.
at our Airbnb. People, we're in the neighborhood, people are walking, talking. Uh, Havana, uh, Verdera Beach. Um, and uh, I'm just so grateful and thankful. Uh, just in this water, you know, just being grateful for uh, everything. Everything. And that's all I can say. You gotta come. It's easy to get here. Don't worry about asking no more questions. It's easy to get here. We're gonna do a little tape of some more stuff throughout this trip. And uh, stay tuned. And uh, also watch the return so I can make sure everything went back smooth. Please. Make sure you bring snacks. Go stop your snacks and get liquor. So we just out here walking the streets. Nice and calm. People have their own backyard parties. Um, little events, little jazz parties, little neo soul get togethers. I don't, I don't know if you call it neo soul in Cuba, but little musicals, whatever. Now we're about to catch a cat. Watch out now. You didn't notice, but you were here probably as more cats than you. Where? Yeah, so as we walk these streets, as we walk these streets, I'm noticing that Cuba has a lot of street cats. Just have a lot of street cats, just, just everywhere. Just everywhere. You know the street cats? Where's it? See, one right there. Just chilling. This is what my life is like. Sweet. <laughs> oh. Oh, was about going to be here for food, man. Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Hey. Mama, who are you? Mama. So I'm the only English speaking guy of the group. Uh, but I gotta learn my Spanish, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta up my game, man. Being around these guys inspire me, and, and going to different places inspire me. Let's do the restaurant. Menu. Espanol. Habla English. So this is where we ate at tonight, like in the neighborhood restaurant. And I say good food. Um, I ended up eating um, uh, a Cuban hamburger. Okay, we're gonna say it like that. Because everywhere I go around the country, I got to eat a hamburger. So, hamburgers, hamburgers in Cuba. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Why are we finding 
Lua. Luya, Luya, I guess. I'm sorry. Well, can I just call you L? Sorry, I don't know if you guys call me Yeah. Yeah. We, we need Wi Fi. That's why we follow him. We need Wi Fi. Internet, internet. <laughs> oh my god. We are out here just, uh, you know, on the street of Cuba, the inner city, getting close to our culture, or with the culture. The market, man. You want that in the market? Well, I <laughs> Dancing in the market. Conseguimos arrumar aqui umas damas. Elas vêm lá da casa para. Nós estamos agora no centro da a comprar as bebidas. E às 5h30 eu vou chegar às damas. Okay, so since we're here with the locals, we had to come and get some Havana rum. And so with your pesos, you will be paying $3.90 pesos if you come with a local that. Is that right, my friend? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we are literally at the liquor store. People can get wasted for under five dollars. Ça vient de l'histoire de l'Est, Fasimane. Porte, c'est Fasimane. Non, comment que tu ne m'importes pas? Quand on a Fasimane, on n'importe pas. Quand on a Fasimane, on n'importe pas. Imagine ça. Tu peux calculer le commerce. Non, on n'importe pas Fasimane. Oui, oui, oui. Quand on a à Boca, on a parlé de tout le disque qui est en train de faire des certes. Quand on a quelque chose de domingo, c'est mon frère. C'est mon frère. C'est mon frère. C'est ce que nous faisons. This is how we talk to one another. Oh no, you got further. No, 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 não, 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 I just had to videotape this real quick. Just to show you guys, it is nice down here, it is. There are just some areas when you were talking about the actual, you know, being with the natives. <laughs>
go. Come here, go, go. Hey, 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 look at this.
has shot down um, so you know just continuing to see all all that Cuba has to offer here playing with my video mobilizer Fishing here. <laughs> <laughs> we had a minor uh, mishap that was about to happen. Almost about to trip Carlos.
I love it. I love it. <laughs> Good friends and family, my international family. Yes. <laughs> Got to. That's the only way we're gonna survive. <laughs> yeah. Carlos, did you have a good time, my man? Good time. Oh, bro, so ain't no wrong with y'all. Man, love it, love it, love it. Yuri, what you think about the trip? Yo soy el cubano de los hermanos. Joana, what you think about the trip? Do you hear the music? Yes. Everywhere you go, man. Get it. It's live. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. Brothers, guys yeah, trip bro. 2019. Cuba. Hey! <laughs> Don't mess with me, bro. We did it. <laughs> Wi-Fi card. Hello, hello, I'm back again. This is your realtor, Maurice Lee, and I'm here at Tropicana. We are here on our last night. Um, it's been such a, uh, a beautiful trip. Um, amazing, well, another amazing uh, trip. I, you know, I gotta make sure I'm straight, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, Tropicana, you, you gotta come uh, to this place. Now, I, I haven't seen the show yet, but, I, but I've heard this is a world-renowned show that when you come to Cuba, you don't wanna miss. So, you know, before you come, make sure you bring the right amount of money uh, to experience everything uh, here before you, you know, leave and go back home. Uh, but uh, I, I definitely had to do a quick video on my last night. Um, it's amazing, we're gonna see what the show's about. And uh, I might do a little quick video uh, about that as I you know, enter in, as you see how beautiful it is. All the guys who came dressed up for this moment. It's 
So um, now, one thing I can't say. Remember, I told you guys about you know bringing in the right cash and stuff like that. You can bring them about converting your money, but also too, you can um, uh, uh, let's say you know if you choose to go to use this uh, to, for this place to be your last night here in Cuba. And you, all you have is your American dollars. You can use your American dollars because it costs uh, 80, 85 dollars for one ticket. But one ticket comes with you get a cigar and you get a bottle of uh, a Havana rum, uh, which is super cool. I, I've never been to a place where you get a cigar and and, uh, and, and and a drink. You know, not just a drink, but an actual bottle to take back with you as a souvenir. Um, along with the money that you're paying to watch the show. Um, you get an appetizer with that as well. Uh, you also have the option to um, eat dinner, of course, that's more. Uh, but no, definitely. I uh, just want to definitely do this little video about Tropicana. Um, and um, I'll be back with you shortly. Peace. That chandelier, oh my god. So after their show, they invite everybody from the different nationalities, the different countries that are there. They invite them up on stage uh, to see if they can do every dance that the other uh, professionals are doing and see if they can hang. And then the person who lasts to end win, which was, you will see who the winner was. Ah.
Okay, so uh, you see, we you are see, sweating. We took over the we dance took floor. Over. It, 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 we, we, we did not expect we to be like this. Mm. Yes. We were supportive. Yes. And my boys. My boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, don't say, don't say all that. These people. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> uh, Cuba! Havana! Tropicana! <laughs> we tore it up. Wait, I got three, three percent left on my phone. We gonna, we gonna use it all up. We gonna use it all up. Uh, so good morning, family. Uh, uh, so I'm at the airport, headed back to Miami, and then from Miami to Dallas. Uh, getting through the airport, um, I would say, um, if anything, so you can make sure that you know that you know what terminal that you're flying out of is to go ahead and already have it uh, printed out, you know, before you, uh, uh, like before you even leave the United States, if, you, if that's possible, I wanna, I wanna say yeah, but if nothing else, screenshot your, your boarding pass when you have Wi-Fi uh, to, you know, to leave Cuba, going back to America, uh, United States. Um, uh, I, I, we initially went to the wrong terminal which, you know, wasn't bad, but, you know, especially when you're in a hurry, you want to save every minute. So make sure you know exactly what terminal you're supposed to be flying out of. There's only three of them. And so we went to Terminal 2. I walked inside. That was Southwest Airlines, which was a lot of people. A big line to uh, travel back wherever you're going. Uh, but I came back, uh, so we came back around to Terminal 3, which is actually Terminal 3 is what I flew into. Uh, so um, that's something within itself. Uh, maybe the terminal 
that you fly, that you uh, arrive at, it's the same terminal that you're going to depart at. Uh, but anyway, came at the Terminal 3, American Airlines, easy breezy, in that thing. Um, now I'm in here waiting. Now, if I have to say one thing that kind of like got to me <laughs> is you went, we were, we're towards the end of this video uh, on YouTube um, and uh, you've seen different areas in Cuba. You've seen the good and you've seen the bad. You've seen good and you've seen bad, right? So what trips me out is when I, okay, I use every last dime I had, well, pretty much every dime I had uh, to, to, the, to, the, to the very last drop. Uh, uh, so all I had left, cash, was $12, $10 bill and two ones, right? So I get in line to it's like, oh my God, good, they, they accept. When you get to the airport, they accept your American dollar, right? So I'll get in line, and if I must say this, if, if you do come here, you need to make sure if you don't get all your dollars, uh, you know, exchanged uh, for the correct currency here, make sure that your dollar bills, dollars, ten, twenties, fifties, hundreds, whatever, whatever it is, that they're straight from the bank, clean, no scratches, tears, or anything. So this will give you an idea. This $10 bill right here, you see, it has a tear right there. Right there, it has a little tear right there. From that tear, they would not accept this. And I wanted a ham and cheese sandwich. I wanted a ham and cheese sandwich. That's all I want. I want a ham and cheese sandwich because I'm hungry. And a water. And she seen this and said, no, no, we will not accept it. I'm like, it's, it's just a little tear. It's not like bit off. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't have dollar bills before where the, the dollars were pretty much hanging on by tape. <laughs> uh, and this just had a little tear in it, right? And once again, like I said, if you see in Cuba and you see some areas, all you wanna, all you wanna be like, all you wanna be bougie like that. Okay, okay. Uh, wow. Okay. So she's like, no, no, no we're not. You can't get no ham and cheese sandwich. You can't get this water either. And I'm like, I, my two dollar bills I did have, my last two dollar bills I did have, were were clean two dollar bills. And I said, how much for the water? She said, a dollar seventy five. I said. Thank you. And then she gives me back my quarter. This quarter. You see, you see this quarter? This you wouldn't take my ten dollar bill that had a little tear in it. And this quarter looked like if it if it can focus on it. Let me see. Can it focus on it? Let me see. Let me get out the let me get out the picture. Would it focus on it? This quarter looked like it ain't been through centuries. Drug through the mud and dirt, beat up. Everything you can say that this quarter has been through. And you give me this when I give you my clean $2 bills, but you wouldn't take this tear $10 bill. I'm, I wanted to, I wanted to say something. And those that know me, you know I'm a good dude. I don't mess with nobody. But when you come to me with some some stuff or BS, ah, I got some words. I had to let it go. I said, let it go. Let it go. This is not my country. This is not my country. Let me get back home. Drink the water. Drink that water like it's a a bowl of uh, Captain Crunch or, or, or Cinnamon Toast Crunch or milk. And just you just full just from this bottle of water. Don't say nothing. So I just want to say that uh, I, my plane, our plane just arrived. Uh, so we'll be boarding here in probably the next 20 minutes, uh, and I'll see you when we get to the United States. Oh, a couple more things. So, um, oh, so 
um, we had already arranged for a taxi, uh, the taxi guy, uh, to pick me up at 6 a.m. in the morning, at uh, Seis, uh, Miana, uh, and he didn't show up. Uh, but fortunately, you know, we, we went the same route that we would normally take to go find a, a taxi cab. I flagged one, I, fi I mean, and you know, we, we, we had some other phone calls we made to a couple other people, uh, and you know, for a 30 minute, pretty much a 30 minute ride from where we stay until the airport, you know, it's about dos cinco. Um, and if it's, if you, if it's any, if someone, if someone tells you any more than that, then try to find somebody else that's more reasonable. But, but dos cinco was pretty much average for that, you know, type of distance. So anyway, I flagged one down and, uh, uh, you know, I, it was kind of a, you know, I woke up early enough uh, to, you know, for any mishaps or whatever. I definitely had my fair share of <laughs> um, airport uh, craziness trying to get there or leave or arrive, whatever. So, uh, but I was able to flag one down and uh, he got me to the airport. Um, another thing to say too is that because, you know, you're limited on Wi-Fi, there's sometimes, you know, being here, you're just, you, you, you know, like, like we said earlier, you are disconnecting from, you know, your your, your everyday hustle and bustle of life. Uh, so with that being said, sometimes it can get quite boring and sometimes, and then let me tell you, make sure that you download or that you have a game that you can play offline uh, while you, you know, you waiting, you know, you know, just chilling or whatever. You're gonna wanna do something there are those that don't have to do anything which is bring a book you know that that may be another thing too bring a book if you want to you know bypass time but other than that make sure you download an app a game app that works offline and me and Toon Blast that's the that's the game I had Toon Blast it's a game I had that um split me every day not to have nothing else, you know. Um, we could always use the Wi-Fi. So I have told my voice because uh, it's pretty emotional right now. And uh, and uh, just uh, download an app and you have a good time. Okay, so I made it back uh, safely. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, going to Cuba was one of the most easiest things uh, to do, one of the places to go um, versus some other places I've been. Uh, it was super easy, just a couple of things you just got to remember to do uh, so <clears> far is um, you need to get your, I got my visa before my flight, so I can't tell you, you know, about getting your visa, uh, I can't tell you about getting your visa, you know, at the gate, um, but I got mine before my flight, uh, took a couple of days and got here. Um, you know, make sure you put down that you're going to support the Cuban people, which that's what you're going to be doing. Um, that's about it. Uh, made it back safe and sound. Um, so I got everything. Ready to go home now. It's been a long trip. I dance my foot, my my feet off every day, five days straight. So, but anyway, uh, definitely thank you uh, for watching my video and please share it with everyone uh, so that you can go and enjoy Havana.